I'm Paul Catherall and I'm an illustrator and printmaker. The good thing about printmaking is that it's very step by step. A lot of work goes into the initial design and the sketches and it's complete concentration but then you move on to something that's quite physical and quite manual. If the composition's good then that's that's half the battle if not more you can, you know if you've got a bad composition it's never going to be great this commission from transport for london is three posters it was decided to use specific elements that summed up london hackney empire was chosen as the, the symbol of, of east london and the new alpine walkway greenhouse at kew gardens taken as symbolic of West London. This design from Primrose Hill more or less had the, had the West End in. So even though you can see Telecom Tower and the eye and centre point, within that view there's a hell of a lot and it's more or less the, the proper West End of town. I rely on photos a great deal. Generally for, for printmaking, I'll wait for quite a strong light it divides the elements into shapes for you so anything that's three-dimensional is divided into flat shapes when light hits it i've done a reasonably detailed sketch but you can even tell in the way that i've been sketching that i'm dividing the tones and the shapes up already and i'm already thinking about how it's going to be translated into flat colors so then we have the we have the finished design in pencil on tracing paper. It's important that you tra your tracing paper is cut out exactly the same dimensions as the lino blocks that you're going to use. This is the carving out stage. Anything that's, that's cut away is obviously not going to have any ink left on it. This is the basic process of relief printmaking, which is lino cutting's part of. The artwork's being made out of two plates. And so this, this section here, I've carved around the outside of the line. So all this section that's left in relief here is where another colour is going to be. I've carved on the inside of the line. If the registration is slightly out, it will still hopefully match up. And you'll also get a little bit of overlay. Whatever colour is printed there will slightly overlay onto the edges of this colour here. The registration is when you place the actual lino onto a piece of paper and you map it out so the lino is drawn around and goes exactly the same place every time. Each time you put the plate and put another colour on, it will match up to the original artwork. The people who inspire me in terms of use of the colour are painters like John and Paul Nash. The way that they use a lot of grey, the greys are always really colourful, they've got a lot of life to them. Even if you're just doing a grey, there's sometimes three or four different colours can go into it. Blue grey skies are very London and very English, and I want the image to look very English. The blue grey will pick out, say, the kind of turquoisey grey on the telecom tower, and it will also enhance the almost cement greys that I'm going to have on some of the buildings. I'll print. 25 to 30 grey skies all at once. And then when that's printed, move on to the next colour.